Hey guys, as usual, thanks for following along on my journey from Medicine Hat to Vancouver. And if you've watched, if you've followed along so far, you found that on Wednesday, uh, July the 8th, I left Medicine Hat, uh, went to Lethbridge, spent the night there, got up Thursday, uh, July the 9th, and headed to my next stop for the night, but I, I went through uh, Lundbrick Falls and um, Frank Slide, so that's what this video is going to be about, uh, Lundbrick Falls and Frank Slide. The next video after that will be uh, where I spend the night, which will be uh, Hartley Lake, and that will be for uh, spending the night on Thursday, July the 9th. So stay tuned, guys. Follow along. Watch this video on uh, Lundbrick Falls and um, Frank Slide. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. No, they have Slide left, then you'll arrive. Yes, dear. Uh, we could go to the other side or we could go to this side. I think we'll try this side here. Some fly fishermen down there. It's nice to fly the drone in here. I don't think I can. Let's put my feet in the water, see how cold it is. Just coming into Frank's slide now, guys. Look at the amount of rock from the top of this mountain that came down. I'm going to do some uh, drone footage here for you too, so you can have a look from up above what it looks like. Complete devastation, and a small piece of Frank was devastated also. Cover this for you later here. This is just some of the devastation at Frank's slide here. 
on the opposite side of the, the highway from where the where the mountain came down. Let's look across here. There. Now, just reading a little bit of this for you. Let me get back and show you some of the sizes of these boulders here. Look at this one in front of me and the one behind it. Look at how big this piece is. Is that there somewhere? <laughs> the little uh, crow's nest pass, a wedge of limestone over one kilometer wide, 425 meters long, and 150 meters deep. I've broken off. This is Turtle Mountain. Simply amazing. What I'm going to do is see if I can take my drone over here and fly and show you from aerial view of what the devastation is like. Let's give that a shot, anyways. <laughs> 